Oh boy. Yeah. So uh here we are with the finale. We have now watched three episodes in one night. Well, this this is, will be the third. Episode. Yes, this is this is going to be the third episode. And so far we are like damn this series has been amazing. I sure just got an itchy back. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's down there, he just being a city boy. Rolling around. Yeah. Uh but I'm sad that this is ending. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she just looks down and you see Asher's feet just go, eh. <laughs> uh, eh. Uh. <laughs> oh, Ishi, boy. are you okay? Asher. You all right, bud? Oh. What are you doing? Look at him. Look at that big poofy boy. Look at that big. Are you itchy? Oh, look at him. Oh, back scratchies. <laughs> back scratchies are the best. Ain't they, buddy? We have to tend to the puppy. Yeah. He needs help. <laughs> well, he's been down here all night, and he's been mostly sitting in his bed. Now he's now he's in dire need of some, some head scratchies and some lovings. Look at that boy. A tickle baby. Ain't he, ain't, ain't he such a sweetheart, y'all? Look at him. Look at Oh. He's a big 96-pound baby. <laughs> yes, he is almost 100 pounds. Oh, he's on a diet, so I think he's lost some weight. Okay, well, around 90 pounds then. So, that being said, though, you know, pupper aside, I think that this show has defied all expectations and has just gone way beyond anything I ever thought it would be. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy about that. I love this show so much. And uh, well done, Viv. Formulaically, mathematically, I shouldn't like this this much. Yes. But I do. So it must be really, really good. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, you. Someone must be talking shit about me. It's probably one of y'all in the comments section. Uh, anyway. It was me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just that death stare from me. The, the mm -hmm. Sorry. Anyway, we're here at episode eight. The show must go on. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Hey, Jerry! No fucking way! They're gonna fight? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Alistair, I cannot wait to watch you get fucked. <laughs> I shall have the staff ready for victorious combat. What <laughs> Commodore Serpentius. Yep. I approve. Look at, look at that. Look at that dapper motherfucker. What can I do to help? I'm glad you are, soldier. The base needs fortifications. Reinforce the southern wall. How about this? If you see an angel, stab it. <laughs> <laughs> stab. No, no. no wrong angel. Wrong one. angel. Not Maggie either. Listen up, sinners. We got 24 hours before the extermination begins. <laughs> they're gonna fucking die. They're, they're gonna die. Hello? I want to thank everyone for coming, even people who aren't staying here yet. Tell them, baby. Yes, and we are, we are going to win. But in case we don't, getting to know you has been the biggest honor of my life. I have seen the good in all of you. And Terry ain't having it. I love you all so much. And live tonight however you want because we're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Nifty. Come on. Everyone else is just like really killing the mood here, Nifty. Drinks. Me personally, I'm excited. It's been a long yeah, time since whoa, whoa. I stabbed anyone and really meant it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cheers, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the celebratory night before a courageous last stand almost makes one sentimental, eh, Nifty? They let you put on roach puppet shows without booing. <laughs> ah, an enjoyable collective to be around. I dub thee King Roach. All to understand your twisted little mind. <laughs> <laughs> last day of afterlife. And you're not off snorting a line off some hunk's abs? Eh, you fucked one cannibal pool boy, you fucked them all. I guess you have changed. Pour me a fresh one, and let's get to living. Cherry? Yeah? I want to tell you that I 
I'd love to wish you good luck in the battle. Ed. Damn it! Okay. Come on, Pinchus. Uh, thanks. Anyway, I guess. Please don't die tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs> Damn, you know, you could totally tap that. I hear he's got two dicks. Huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Charlie. Um, I'm sorry. Um. You've already done so much. So many souls you've touched. More than anything. Hey, reprise of more than anything. More than anything. More than anything. Extermination day is here. Bitches, and you all remember Vaggie. <laughs> Quit Vaggie's mouth out her ass. You just, just chill, loot. Fuck. Anyway. <laughs> Attack! So begin. Here they come. Get ready, everyone. <laughs> She's so excited. Come on. Let's go. Oh, 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 this is gonna be good. <laughs> Get him. The slaughter begin. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, yes. Oh, oh God, they appear to have some kind of shield, sir. Oh, really? I didn't see this giant fucking shield in front of me, you dumb bitch. Oh, that's how they can kill us with our own weapons. Fucking weak. <laughs> that's how you put angelic trapper in there. <laughs> yes. Mr. Shield is working! I'm fucking over this. Uh-oh. Ooh! He doesn't look worried, though. Oh, fuck! I am so hard right now! First man, next to die. Who the fuck are you? Alistair, I'm about to end your fucking life. Nice voice. <laughs> Don't you know jazz is for pussies? You really think you can take me on? You should know better than anyone what a soul can accomplish first. when they take charge of their own fate. Lack like discipline, control, and worst, you're sloppy. Radio is fucking dead. What just happened? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh! oh. Yes! This is better than sex! Have to disagree with you there. Radio's not dead, but it is ending this broadcast. No! You, you, you! There are more coming up on your right. Get ready for them, Vagatha! Not my name, but got it. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Vaggie, like <laughs> yeah. fucking Adam Calder. Die, oh, no. motherfuckers! These fucking animals stop coming. Okay, I walk right in. <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> you all right, Squirt? I nearly scrambled myself. Yeah! But Alistair was supposed to handle him. No, he must be. Of course. Are you out of your fucking mind? Yes. Ooh. Damn. Oh, Miss Cherry Bomb, I love you. Remember me. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, crazy motherfucker. Oh, what? That could have been ugly. No! No. You did good, buddy. Razzle! Dazzle! Oh! Try it, bitch. Uh. Surprise, bitch! Ah. Risking your immortal life for sinners? That's some crazy shit. Even for Lucifer's brat. You should have stayed in your place, girly. Oh! That's 
princess of hell to you, pig. Okay. Do it then. Correct your mistake. Seriously, you're pathetic, you know that? Live knowing that you only do because I let you. A failure. <gasps> sure ripped her wings off or something at least. Oh. <laughs> this fight was cute and all, but it's time to die with the rest of them. <laughs> Lucifer. Hey. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't here sooner. How many of you freaks do I have to fight? See, you messed with my daughter, and now I am going to fuck you! <laughs> um... <laughs> well, this is kind of interesting. <laughs> Wait, what did you see I his say? cup? Yeah, pimping, not sipping. God damn it. Oh, poor Lucifer. And now I am going to fuck you! <laughs> I like the quack. The little eye raiser. Huh? All right. <laughs> You're like, oh, really? Oh, Lucifer. <laughs> so this is what you've been up to since Eden? You're the most hated being in all of creation. Well, your first wife didn't seem to hate what I had to offer. Or the second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> it. Fuck you. Whoa, miss me. <laughs> Hold still, you slippery fucker. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You come at me and my daughter. You're in my house, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, Dad, he's had enough. How's mercy taste, you little bitch? No, you don't get to end this. I'm fucking Adam. I started everything on Earth. All of mankind came from these fucking nuts. You ungrateful, disgusting losers. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Hey, you got something sticking out of here. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Christ! Awesome. Nifty! <laughs> Holy shit! Blood! <laughs> no! Adam! Oh. It's over. Take your little friends and go home! <clears throat> All exorcists fall back! So, hey, don't forget to write. Who's up for pancakes? <laughs> I'm Katie Killjoy. Breaking news, extermination day is canceled. Charlie Morningstar managed to bend off the angelic attack. We're also hearing reports that Adam, leader of the angelic legions, has been slain by a filthy janitor. Who's janitor doing the voice quote. for her again now? Brandon Rogers. Really? Yes. Uh, hold on. I, I, I saw... There. <laughs> I thought so. What's up, buddy? I thought so. I was like, that sounds so much like Brandon. Dance, bitch. Anyway, congrats to Charlie and her crew for not being totally fucking useless for once. <laughs> oh. oh, they're there. It's, oh, it's okay. Hey. <laughs> He did it for us, the ultimate sacrifice. This bloodshed could have been avoided if I convinced heaven to work together. Come on, little lady, why the frown? In the last 10,000 years, you're the first one to change this town. You can't quit now. Hell, you owe it. But by God, Charlie, the show, it must go on. We can do this. We can build it. Best hotel that you've ever seen. It starts with you, you know. It's true. Fulfill your destiny. So long as I've got all of you with me. No time for crying. We got a lot of work to do. And we got to try and make the best of what's in room. After the battle. Masterless cattle, overlords hanging by a thread. While the rest of hell's pissing, Alice 
future's missing Blend with his tail between his legs The future of hell belongs to the bees <laughs> This place reeks of death There's a chill in the air Great Alistair Altruist died for his friends That is not where this ends I'm hungry for freedom like never before Once I figure out how to unclip my wings Guess who will be pulling all the strings? And then tomorrow it will be a fucking happy Hey. What? Yo! Yes! Oh. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh! Adam is dead. Your brat is threatening the very foundation of heaven. And if you want to stay here, you're going down there and stopping that bitch, Lilith. Oh boy. Well, that's rude. Well, damn. Also, wait a second. Sorry, happened to be anything after the credits. Uh, let's take a look and see. Hold on, let's. Nope. Nope. Well. That's that's that. Holy hell. That was Wow, what an ending. <laughs> what an ending, dude. The fact that Sir Pentius just ended up in heaven though, that's amazing. I, yeah. I know, I saw I was just like I couldn't believe that. <laughs> I mean I love it. I love the fact that he sought redemption and he got it. Yeah. That's and awesome. It came from him, like, making the sacrifice. Like... Because I was partially wondering. I was like, <clears throat> so if you die after you've already died, what exactly happens? Do you just cease to exist? Like, do you go to a second hell that we don't even know about? <laughs> well, that's the thing. The, that's an unanswered question. Like, what So I'm life... thinking if you're killed in hell, you probably just respawn in hell for the Either most part. That but or if, if you got I... redeemed, then you could actually be killed in hell and then end up in heaven. Maybe, but also... Also, if he comes down there and tells them about this, they just found the loophole. Yep. Yeah, plus also, here's my thing about it is, like, I wonder if, like, the like if you die in hell after not being redeemed, you go to the void. Like, the void is, like, nothing. You basically fade to nothing. I, I don't, don't know. know. I feel like Hell of a Boss kind of mentioned, like, people getting killed over and over again or something like that. I and guess. I was kind of assuming that just the angels exercising people were what made them kind of permanently disappear or something. I don't know. I don't really know either. But this this show, man. I mean, everything that they did in this this episode, the music, like the choreography, the fighting, like the story, like you're talking about Nick if this doesn't win awards, for God's sakes, man. It's rigged. <laughs> yes. Well, of course it's rigged. I mean, yeah. it's the awards shows. Like, they, they don't give a damn about... This deserves about... awards for everything in it. Yes. It deserves writing awards. It deserves music awards. It deserves fucking, like, animation awards. Like, God damn, man. I know. This it's... is a straight 10 out of 10 show. I agree. I did not expect... Like, I, I came into this fully being like, I'm probably not going to like it quite as much as Hell of a Boss. I fucking like it more than Hell of a Boss. I do too. <laughs> if I'm being there were no weak honest. episodes in these eight episodes at all. Hell of a Boss has one or two episodes. I was like, eh, on. Yeah. Like, but I like this more than Hell of a Boss, and I think it did something more profound than Hell of a Boss. As well. Yeah. Hell of a Boss is fun. Yes. Like, this actually did way more than they've done with that show so far. And, like, I don't want to, like, seem like I'm talking it down or anything because it's a different kind of production, obviously. Yes, obviously. But I don't know why I thought I wouldn't like this as much whenever it's the same creative mind, basically, 
well, yeah, with, with Viv, like a full, you know, television budget behind her. Well, Viv, when she got into doing this, she like she want she fought tooth and nail to maintain creative control. She fought so hard to maintain that. And I can see where all, like, I know that there's a bunch of efforts on Hell of a Boss. I know that Brandon Rogers h- helps out with writing episodes. I know that I've seen other people assist with writing episodes. But this, I can wholeheartedly say, like, this has Viv's signature all over it. And none of this feels like like it was rushed. Everything here feels like it was approached at a at the right pace as it was supposed to be. And hold on. Uh, and it's also it's everything that I feel like what I'm seeing is everything she probably enjoyed from her childhood and then mm-hmm. reimagined through her adult eyes and done masterfully. Like there are songs in this that like I'm like, that's straight up like something that I would have expected to hear in a Disney movie back in the day, but I like it way more than songs I've heard in Disney movies back in the day. And just, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's like, it's, if it really feels to me like someone achieving their dream in terms of something they would want to create. Know what I mean? Yeah. It's like someone who is just, got like a team that 100% understands their vision and was able to take pretty much everything they love and put it into something and make something grand out of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right there. Just like, to have to be like, just well done, Vivian. Yes. Fourth and, ah, uh, final season? No. Mm. I don't want it to be the final season. I think maybe, <clears throat> Okay. Now that hell uh, that has been hotels out, maybe they're going to shift to more just putting all the resources into it for now. Wait, okay, so they've only done two seasons, but they've done they're working on the third season, and the fourth season was confirmed to be planned. So we're gonna get two more seasons of of Hell of a Boss, which I'm cool with. I really I damn this the. This is awesome. Like, I'm glad that Viv achieved her dream. She worked for it, and look at what she's accomplished. She has achieved. She's achieved far more than, and the fact that she did it, and she's four years younger than me. Gosh, <laughs> dang it. Oh well. I want. I. I mean, she worked her ass off. There's no like. There's no qualms about that. She earned this, and congratulations, Viv. Congrats. Well done on a first season of Has Been Hotel, and here's to future seasons of both Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. Thanks for starting off 2024 the right way for everybody. It's, yes, thank you. I ended 2023 having seen one of the greatest things I think I've ever seen in my life, and then I got to start 2024 with another one. I didn't expect to see something this great so soon, you know? Oh, yeah. After season two of Jujutsu Kaisen which was <laughs> that was so good fucking dope yes so good yes like this is a, the only 10 out of 10 thing I think I've seen in the past like four or five years besides that and I'm just like two things that close together that I actually am just like this is actually 10 out of 10 like, like we lit we're living I, I've in always a good time. been like this was great it's one of the best and like and I'm like I saw two things that recontextualized what amazing is for me and this and that was what they were you know so. yeah uh it's well like i'm not e- like going to willy-nilly give out like this is one of the best things i've ever seen all the time anymore unless it actually is <laughs> i hear you oh okay that's a thing can't really talk about it but all right everyone Thank you all so much. I mean, Kate, do you have anything to say about about this? I mean, I thought it was amazing, and I'm looking forward to going and watching it, <laughs> rewatching it. <laughs> She's gonna be rewatching this all in all in due time. <clears throat> but here's the season two, everybody. Can't wait for it. And Viv, congratulations once again. And here's to the future. Anyway, till next time, everyone. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.